four years for, uh, for President Obama. Join us every Monday through Friday morning, 9 to 11 Eastern Time, right here on CRN Digital Talk. Just what makes that little old ant Think he'll move that rubber tree plant Anyone knows an ant can't Move a rubber tree plant But he's got high hopes Welcome back everybody, it is the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti <laughs> I love this one, I, I don't know how Me this too. got snuck in there I knew the I ant I love high hopes My little ant was my friend uh, So funny. Michael Question, question. Michael O'Neill on the line with us, guys. Michael. Yes. When you did L.A. Law in the cast, was that George DeZunzo? Uh, no. no, actually not. Um, who was the Who was the cast then? Uh, it was, uh, oh gosh, it, I think Chris North had come on. But, but who replaced George? Who was after George? Um, good question. What, no, wasn't George on Law and Order? He was on Law and Order. He was the he was the he was uh, the partner. He was the original. Yes. Partner. Yeah. He was. George he was Ray not. Ray. Ray. He was Him not on. North. Oh, he was okay. not on L.A. So Law. wrong show. They run together after a while, don't they? Yeah, I think they do. They need you know, to, I don't know. The initials. Speaking of laws, you played a lot of sheriffs. <laughs> it's the mustache, Nancy. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. You have that authoritative look about you. It's so funny because I'm such a knucklehead, you know. And <laughs> oh, <nobody> you're <laughs> not. <laughs> nobody knows, I guess. But I think it's the mustache. I really do. I think they think, you know, if he's got a mustache, he must be an authority figure. Uh, are you? Um, well, it's I, kind of a Chicago mustache, but you're not from Chicago. No, no. I love, I love the city. Love the Windy City. Thank you. Can I speak now? Yes, uh, you may. Jeez, thank you. <laughs> hey, M Michael, are you having a good time on Vegas? You know what? I had a great time. I've had a great time with them. That, you know, it's such an interesting. Um, everybody knows about you know the Bugsy Siegel era, era, and then and then obviously you know the 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 entertainment mecca that it is now. Yeah. But that little window right there, that's an interesting time to explore. You well, know, that you know. By the way, that that's all a true uh, true genre, and uh, there's a book called Double Cross written by Sam Jean Canna Jr. Who wrote it? Sam Jean Canna. And the book is about Sam Jean Canna, the Chicago mob, and how they uh, dealt with Kennedy and the, and how Kennedy was assassinated. It's called Double Cross because uh, they feel that uh, the Kennedys double-crossed him, and in the book it states that they killed the president. But these were the guys that started Vegas, and these are the guys that you guys are really portraying. And I don't know who the mayor was then, but we'll find out. Uh, Sheriff Lamb was for real. Yeah. So what you're doing is part of history. All real stuff. The Stardust Hotel supposedly, I think, is the hotel that they're yeah. using. So they're they're changing a lot of the names. But very very interesting stuff. And I never miss the show, and uh, n and I enjoy you, and just uh, enjoy it because it's a major part. Of history, and without them, there would never would have been a Vegas. So, no, no, that you know, it, it, it all roads led through there, and uh, I do think it was probably closer to a you know a saloon culture in the late fifties and early sixties, and 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 you know, and, and when those guys came in and they brought the money, yeah, and, absolutely, uh, it changed everything. Oh yeah, Gabby Hayes hung out there. I mean, it was really. Uh, oh, I mean. There was there was no uh, there were little dumpy joints little yeah it was kind of a fron joints. frontiers town yeah you gotta see Gary riding ride his horse in there <laughs> <laughs> I love I love Gary hey Michael did you watch the Golden Globes you know what I did I did see some of it yeah what did you think well I thought that uh, that Amy Poehler and uh, and, and Tina Fey were really funny phenomenal yeah. they yeah. were oh great oh my gosh. They, that opening monologue, they really set the table, I thought. And uh, uh, when the, you know, when the, when when they rocked some of the, some of that crowd back on their heels, I thought, yeah, they got they've got them now. Yeah, but, they're uh, special. I love what Daniel Day Lewis said. Uh, um, I thought Anne Hathaway speaking about seeing her mom play that role when she was eight years old. I know, yeah. isn't wow. that something? Yeah, and and then uh, and and uh, I, I didn't follow all of Jody's, but the thing where she was talking about her mom, I guess her mom has Alzheimer's, and I 
lost my mom to that disease, and she was talking about, you know, whatever gets through. Oh, right? yeah. And I understood that. That, that was a that, very that, touching yeah, moment. That I did, hard. too, because I lost my mom the same way, and did you? that was beautiful, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Did you get this, a chance to see Argo and Les Mis and all those films? It's an unbelievable year for film. It I is. I was thinking, you, you, Will must just be over the moon with the stuff that he's having to review right now. I thought Argo, whenever you can take a film that you know the outcome of the event, and hold you on a hook for that long, that's a beautifully made film. Oh, yeah, and you were on the hook. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a phenomenal. We're going to be talking about another film just like that, Zero Dark Thirty, later in the show mm -hmm. today, too. Yeah. So. That's a marvelous film. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. And that she stayed with that for so long, she just would not bend. She wouldn't yield. No. I thought that was a great characterization. Les Mis, um, the, you know, the, uh, with the, the Beast of the Southern Wild, what a little you know, jewel that yeah. is. A lot of great film this year. Michael, hang in there for one more segment, buddy. We're going to a quick break. When we come back, we're going to finish up with our good friend Michael O'Neill joining us here on the PM Show with Larry and Nancy Minetti. We'll be back right after this.